I got a, uh, um, a communique from a, a dear old friend of mine, and she was asked, and said, haven't seen you post anything in this political season talking about the what's happening in the States, whatever have you. And so I wrote it back and said, oh, you got to subscribe to my YouTube channel, you know, uh, but I'll put it on my email list. Um, I don't know how I missed it anyway, because everybody does about that. But yeah, uh, somebody else sent me um, a, uh, we know, on a WhatsApp uh, little clip of this uh, ceremony that happened in Washington where the, it's a religious thing. Uh, it looked like the, uh, those uh, Russian kind of, uh, not Russian, I shouldn't say that because I could be wrong. You know, those, one of those high church things, all these uh, church kind of people, like, like Catholic, Catholic or whatever, kinds of, kinds of people, one with the little pomp and all that stuff. Came and everything, and Donald Trump was sitting there in the aisle, he was shaking everybody's hand, or President Trump, I should say, shaking everybody's hand, so everybody was shaking hand. And then uh, uh, a black guy, you know, one of those figures, whatever with those days, he came by, and everybody, but like I barely had the thing and didn't shake his hand, kept on going. And then you know, a woman was after him, shook out uh, the president's hand. And so I'm thinking, go like, this guy, did he not read my post about the pendulum? Let me list it below. The pendulum. Listen to that. You know, it's not that long. Because if he would, he would have said, if he would have known, I said, look, if you're black in America, this is not your fight. You do not, you are not the tip of the spear. You are not the shock, the, 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 the forward troops of this particular battle. This is a battle between white supremacists. Let them have it out, you know. You don't put your face as a black person. You don't put your face, you ain't got no power. You got less power now. If you want to do all that, that protest, you should have protested the last president who didn't give you diddly. You know, let, 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 me, let me be very clear about this. So I don't want anybody thinking like whatever they're thinking, right? Here's the thing. In fact, let me say one thing. Now that, that well, may be wrong. Uh, when I graduated from the uh, same place where, you know, the, the sister, you know, we were in the same class together uh, and, um, at university, when I was going to uh, Livingston College, part of Rutgers University, it's in the 70s. Uh, we had a guy, a dean that came from the Rand Corporation, who basically was dismantling the school. That's what he was. And we did this whole kind of protest. We did this whole funeral for Livingston College. It was, it was an amazing kind of thing. So when graduation came, first of all, I didn't wear a cap and gown. I had my own African cap and you know, cap. That was, very nice, you know. I won't tell you how, how that happened, but I designed it and somebody else sold it up for me. Somebody else, well, well somebody else stole the fabric. <laughs> I was, you know, I was in my mid 20s. Anyway, um, so uh, what happened when that graduation, when it came to was getting that little shake of hand or thing, I purposely didn't shake the guy's hand and kept on going. Now, I was wrong, but I was young, but I won't say I was wrong. I was right for the emotion and for what was happening at the time, whatever happened. But now when I think back on it, well let me skip let me skip skip from the seventies to the to the to the late to the early nineties. I got uh through audio drama, I got uh uh through the um what what's what's they call the National Endowment for the Arts. And they, they gave a group grants and individual grants. At the time, for two straight years, I got the highest individual grant you could get for a single like like person. It was ten at that time I think it was like ten thousand dollars, I think what it was. Well the first year that I got it, I got a letter from uh, this out of New York. I got a letter from this the senator from New York, which was Al D'Amato at the time. We had two senators there, Al D'Amato and the dreaded um, What's that guy's name? It would come to me, I try to erase his name, Daniel Patrick Moynihan, from my brain, right? So his office, the Republican, sent a letter congratulating me about my grant, whatever have you. The, I got nothing from the Democratic senator. Okay, the second year, I got a letter from, again, from Al Tomato's office, you know, Senator Tomato's office, congratulating me, and I got a letter from Daniel Patrick Moynihan. And the reason why I don't like Daniel Patrick Moynihan, you, you think Bill Clinton was bad for black people. My thing about Daniel Patrick Moynihan is that he's supposed to come from humble beginnings or whatever have you. When he went to academia, right, he put out this paper, you know, basically demonizing the black family, and that's what started this breakdown of the black family. Yeah, Bill Clinton and them did terrible things, and you know, Barack Obama didn't do anything, but I don't want to get to Barack Obama because you all love him. The point, the point is, like, to me, the worst criminal I mean, it's probably more maybe that that that, that, that guy that that, that, that killed uh, uh, um, uh, Billy Holiday, you know, with the whole marijuana laws. Maybe he was worse than Jake. Who maybe they were worse. But for me, Danny Patrick Morgan is like one of those people. But 
you know, you don't, you do not, not accept an award from the senator of your thing or the president. You know what I mean? You're, you're no longer looking at the person. You have to look at the office. You, you, you see this, this, this whole thing? So you may not like this person in the office. It doesn't matter how they got there, but you have to re you not, not respect the office. But if you want something from that power base, you know, you gotta, you got a deal. You know, it's as simple as that. So this guy, what I call, I'm not calling name calling this year. I, Nelly Fool said, don't name call. But he is acting as a dupe for the, you know, for everybody that's complaining about Donald Trump. So now you see this black guy is the only one that's protesting. You know, the white people go, the women go by. And, but he's the only one protesting in this whole group. Now, if the whole group is protesting, that's something else. I don't want to get into that right now. But that's my point. My point really is like, b b black people, stop it. Okay? You need to protest. You, you had a whole, you've been protesting our whole existence in the United States of North America. And what has this gotten us? You know, death, destruction, and being the face of something, and then when something improves, we don't benefit. So just stay out of this battle. Let them stay in your lane. Do what you need to do. That was my thing for the pendulum. That's what I'm saying right now. That, that would be me, T, for the Pattersons, taking a turn to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.